Hi, I'm Mel, and welcome to my channel, Cosmetic Formulation Diary. In this video, I'm going to discuss the difference between humectant, occlusive, and emollient ingredients. Facial moisturizers and body lotions use a combination of these ingredients, and the skin feel of the final product depends on the selection of these ingredients. Let's start with humectant. Humectant ingredients attract water from the atmosphere and from the thermos, which is the lower layer of the skin, and bind that water to the stratum corneum, which is the outermost layer of the skin. The skin absorbs the water, making it hydrated and moisturized. Examples of humectant ingredients are glycerin, sorbitol, sodium lactate, and propylene glycol. Glycerin is the most frequently used humectant because it's inexpensive and easier to find. You can even buy it from drugstore. The only disadvantage is if you put too much glycerin in your cosmetic formulation, then the end product will be very sticky. And who wants a sticky moisturizer, right? Moisturizers that contain mostly a humectant ingredients are lighter in texture, so they are ideal to be used as daytime moisturizer and during summer where the weather is hotter. Next, we have the occlusive ingredients. Occlusive ingredients coat the skin with a water repellent layer in order to prevent or slow down transepidermal water loss, which could lead to skin dryness. Examples of occlusive ingredients are vegetable oil, like coconut oil, sunflower oil, among others, silicon oil, like dimeticon, mineral oil, waxes like beeswax, carnauba wax, candelilla wax, petrolatum, fatty acid like steric acid, fatty alcohol like cetyl alcohol. Take note that there are some occlusive ingredients like petrolatum that are quite heavy on the skin. That's why they are often combined with emollient ingredients to improve the skin feel of the moisturizer. Moisturizers that contain mostly of occlusive ingredients are heavier in texture, so they are ideal to be used as nighttime moisturizer and during winter where the weather is drier. Lastly, we have the emollient ingredients. Emollient ingredients lubricate the skin by restoring lost lipids in the skin, making the skin softer and smoother. Examples of emollient ingredients are vegetable oil, silicon oil, mineral oil, butter, like shea butter and cocoa butter, synthetic esters of fatty alcohols and fatty acids, lanolin, and paraffin. To summarize things, humectant attracts moisture to the skin, occlusive provides protective barrier to the skin, and emollient lubricates the skin. Thanks for watching. To know more about cosmetic science in a nutshell, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Happy formulating!